that marks were over 2,000 years ago. That exactly happened. And he's the same Lord today as he was back then. It's the same Lord as John chapter 1, the Word, which is God that spoke and made all things, is the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw and heard, and it was known. And we testify of that which we have seen, that Jesus is the Christ, the mighty God, manifested in the flesh. And he saves by grace, through faith, by belief alone, not by works of righteousness, not by works, not by works of the law. It's not by commandment keeping. You can't earn your salvation. Purgatory does not exist. Mary can't help you. Prophets can't help you. Holy men can't help you. No other name, for there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And our salvation is in the name of the only name that's above all names, the name of Jesus Christ. Let that name stick in your mind as when you lay your head on your pillow and boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and vanishes away. You have no idea when your time is coming. You have no idea when you're going to take your last breath. Let today be the day of salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know that this is true. You know in your heart that this is true. This is the way. You know that the Lord calls you. You know that the Lord calls and his word is written and his son was given and his son is raised. The name that is above all names and he calls you. Let today be the day of salvation. Just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You must be born again as Jesus says. You're born once of flesh. You're born of water.